Papers, it's Julie from thepaperpixie.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this sweet, fancy fold card. I call it the pinwheel fancy fold because it kind of looks like a pinwheel. And it opens a lot like flower petals would open. And then it just closes like you'd close a box top. Just a different card that I thought was fun. And it measures four and a quarter by four and a quarter, so it fits great in our medium sized envelopes. And I had just added a belly band to it. So let me show you how to make this really quickly. You want to use a piece of designer series paper that measures eight inches by eight inches. And you'll need your simply scored with the diagonal plate to start with. Now what you need to decide is which pattern you want as the background and which you want as the pinwheel. I'm using a different pattern from the flower pot designer series paper. And I think I want the yellow side to be the background and then the orange and white stripes to be the pinwheel. So in that case, I'm going to have the yellow facing upwards and we're gonna score that at three inches on all four sides. And again, these are those diagonal score lines. And at the intersection of where these score lines crisscross, not sure if you're gonna be able to tell, but there is a little triangle here that gets made. We're actually gonna cut those out. I'm just gonna use the paper snips and do that really quickly. Now that those are cut out, we're gonna do a little bit more scoring, but this time without the diagonal plate. So put that aside and we're gonna flip it over this is the pinwheel side, and we're going to score this at one inch on all four sides, but only halfway down, right down to where we cut out that triangle and right where your stylus stops. So again, one inch on all four sides. Okay, you're done with scoring. So go ahead and put the Simply Scored away. And now we're going to fold and burnish. Now there's a reason why I had you score on certain sides. The trick with scoring, especially with designer series paper, is you want to score the opposite from the score line. So for example, we scored on the diagonal here on the yellow side, we're gonna fold the paper this way. And that prevents the designer series paper from tearing when we make those folds. Do all of those. It's the opposite way you'd think you would fold something when it's scored, but it really does help protect your paper. Now we're going to fold back. This is the fun part. We're going to close it clockwise. And then the last piece you're going to just tuck in like you would with a box top. There you go. Then you can embellish it as you wish. Show you a couple other designs. I love this flower pot designer series paper. It's really, really sweet. There's another one here. And I chose on the one I originally showed you to add a belly band. This card doesn't need a belly band, as you can tell. It stays together really nicely the way it's folded, just like a box top. That is the Pinwheel Fancy Fold card. Thanks for stopping by the Paper Pixie. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll be sure to have all the details with measurements on my blog, thepaperpixie.com. Have a great day. Thanks. Thanks.